Thanks for watching, and today we will solve x squared equals minus 1, not in the real numbers, not in the complex numbers, but for the quaternions. And the answer will blow your mind, I can guarantee it. But for this, we need to know how to multiply quaternions. First of all, a quaternion can be written as a plus bi plus cj plus dk, Donkey Kong. And the way to multiply them is simply to foil them out with the following rule that can be written in this diagram, ijki. Now, whenever you have an arrow moving forward, like i times j, it becomes the next term. But when you have an arrow going backwards, like i times k, it becomes minus that term, so minus j. Okay, let's do this. So the first line is not too bad because you multiply everything by a. So it's a squared plus abi plus acj plus adk. <laughs> now the second line, a little bit harder. So bi times a, that's abi. Now, bi times bi, that's b squared i squared, which is minus b squared. And then, bi times cj, that's bc times ij, which gives you k. So, plus bck. And last but not least, so bi times dk, that is bd i times k, different uh, direction, which is minus j. So minus b dj. dj, turn it up. <laughs> and by the way, it's quite nice. There's always one i j k, and also here one i j k. So to check your work. OK, next line. cj times a, so a c j. Right. So cj times bi, so bc, j times i, which is minus k, so minus bck. All right, now uh, cj times cj, a nice name, but it's minus c squared. And finally, uh, cj times dk, so cd, jk, which becomes i, so plus cdi. Again. 1 i j k. Last but not least, the Donkey Kong line. So a d k. Mm -hmm. Now uh, d k times b i. So b d k times i, which is j. So plus b d uh, j. Now uh, d k times c j. So d c k times j, which is minus i. So minus CDI, and last but not least, Donkey Kong times Donkey Kong is minus D squared. All right, and here comes my favorite part, which is the gathering of the terms. So the real terms are here on the diagonal. How cool is that? So A squared minus B squared minus C squared minus D squared. And then there is a cancellator effect going on. So lots of cancellations. So for the I terms, it's A, B, I, A, B, I. And C, D, I, C, D, I, boom, boom, that cancels out. For the J terms, there is A, C, J, A, C, J. So two A, C, J. And then the BGJs cancel out. And last but not least, for the K terms, so there's ADK, ADK, and then BCK, BCK, those cancel out. You have no idea how many tries it took to get that right. OK, and the cool thing is, then you can just write this as a quaternion as follows. So the square of any quaternion is a squared minus b squared minus c squared minus d squared plus 2abi plus 2acj plus 2adk. And what we want to do, we want to set this equal to minus 1, which is minus 1 plus 0i plus 0j plus 0k. Almost like OK. And all we need to do is to compare the terms 
So a squared minus b squared minus c squared minus d squared is minus 1. ab is 0. ac is 0. And ad is 0. And now we need to solve for this, which is not very hard, because there are two cases. Either a is non-zero, but then what this would mean, since a, b is zero, it means b is zero, c is zero, and d is zero. But then what it means is that a squared minus zero, so a squared is minus one, but since A is real, this is wrong. So in other words, A cannot be zero, so A has to be zero, and then we get the following equation. A is zero, and this is minus one, which is just equivalent to B squared plus C squared plus D squared equals one, so, what do the solutions look like? It's zero plus a whole sphere. This is what Q squared equals minus one looks like geometrically. So it's just a point which is zero plus an entire sphere. Which is so interesting because remember, if you wanna solve Z squared, equals minus 1 in the complex numbers, it just becomes 0 plus 2 points, i and minus i. But what are those two points? They're precisely the south pole and the north pole of this sphere. So this is almost like going one step further in the truth. We see, I mean, technically we don't see anything because in the real numbers there's no solutions. But in the complex numbers, you see two points. But in the quaternion numbers, you see an entire sphere. How cool is that, isn't it? And by the way, if you're curious, what if you do Q squared equals one, then here the solutions are a little bit more boring. I tried it out then you really just get plus minus one and then nothing. So the sphere becomes nothing. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.